Well, we're talking some sports, and Spencer, high school football is back. That is absolutely right. And it took long enough yeah. to get here. I tell you what, we did 27 high school previews, all of our high school teams. And that was fun, but yep. I mean, I definitely am ready for some real game action. I tell you what, we got to see a number of all the Bayside schools were in action tonight. Je well, I should say most of them, and there's a couple teams playing tomorrow. Delaware actually is about a week away, but a lot of great games out there, including one just down the road from here. Why I was looking to get their season started off right tonight when they had a very tough matchup against Cambridge. The Vikings made it all the way to the state quarterfinals last year and showing why early on. So Nathaniel Lowe drops back to pass. And the senior finds Jacob Morse wide open down the field, and he is gone. 64 yards to the house for the score. A few plays later, and the Vikings laying down the wood. Check out this block right here. Almost just destroys that man. That's Kobe Jones with a huge hit. He'd get flagged on the play, but no ejection. The Tribe trying to fight their way back in this thing. JoJo Brittenham taking over right there up the middle. He takes it all the way down to the goal line. Very next play, the Indians break through. That's their quarterback, Jason Patterson, up the middle for the score. Cambridge, though, would put it away from there. Trey Lake breaks through on the run right here, up the middle for the score. 35-7 the final, now when the Vikings get the win. And Kent County was taking on Queen Anne's. The Trojans making things happen early on. Stevie Curian finds Marquand Green, and that young man can fly. 86 yards to the house for the score, putting the home team out in front. But back come the Lions. It's Ja'Kyle Gardner. He breaks loose for a 35-yard touchdown run right there. And the Lions not done just yet. This time, it's going to be Ricky Dunk Rickley showing off the wheels as well. This one from 26 yards out for the score. This thing turned into a shootout and was an instant classic. The Trojans turn. They're going to go ahead and punt. And Oh, it's a fake. We've been bamboozled. Curry and finds Deshaun Lister, and that is good for the touchdown. And the shootout continues. Lions down one with just nine seconds left. Luke Mitteroff for the win, and it is wide right. No good for the second year in the row. How about this? The Trojans, they pull off the upset of Queen Anne's 46 to 45. The final, what a start to the year. Decatur, well, they're taking on Bohemian Manor tonight, and this one turned into the Tyree Henry show. First quarter, and he just goes ahead and takes over down the field. The sideline cuts it back inside. 85 yards to the house for the score on the punt return. That young man missed all of last year after breaking his leg. And you wouldn't know by the way he played tonight. A couple minutes later into the second quarter, Henry making things happen on defense. He can go ahead and lay a hit right there as well. They would be forced to punt after not picking up the first down right there on third down. And then it would lead to this. Darren McKenzie play action pass. Who else? You guessed it. You see the trend here. Henry, the Seahawks. They get the win tonight. 21-7 to the final there. And Snow Hill introducing their new stadium tonight against Parkside Eagles. Flying high early on. That's Damian Thornton off the left side for the score. That gave his team the early 8-0 lead. But back come the Rams. Luke Pitsenbarger drops back to fast. He's going to find Quillen Pompless right there. He is in for the score. That got his team back within one. And then check out Amante Allen. You may remember his name. He was a soccer standout last year at Pokemoke. Well, uh... His speed also transfers over to the football field. He already had a 99-yard kickoff return in this one. And are you kidding me? The one-handed grab. This one good for 96 yards to the score. And then after that, though, after a slow first half, Parkside's offense would get rolling in the second half. They would end up taking this thing 44-26 to the final. And North Carolina, they were at home tonight taking on East. And the Bulldogs playing a little bully dog early on in this one. Check it out. That's a run off the left side there for a good pickup by Allen Shaloff. It would lead to this Rodney Thomas goal line touchdown. He cleans it up. Back comes Easton and the Warriors trying to hang tough in this. It's going to be Marcoso Jojo up the middle for a good carry, but this thing was all North Carolina. Another big run right here by Shaloff. He takes it down to the goal line. The Bulldogs win in a dominant fashion, 48-12 to the final. 